Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a really, really exciting video for you all. I'm going to be doing a really, really, really juicy tea spinning QA. <laughs> I just want to say, um, my, I, my hair, okay, I'm trying something different, if anyone wants to know how I did this, I literally get a piece of hair, wrap it around, like, just any pencil, and then straighten over it, it take, took me, like, two hours, but that's because I have a lot, lot of hair, but it looks cool, and, yeah, I just thought I'd go with, like, a little cute side part, and I don't know, I don't even know if it looks good, and also my tops from Primark, um, robe from Victoria's Secret, because I get those questions always. So yeah, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or wait till the end and then see if you want to then. But I'm just putting it out there in case you forget. I don't know. And um, give it a big thumbs up because let's try to get to 1k likes. But yeah, so I went on my Instagram and I asked for some like very personal, I can see that bit of hair is annoying, no. Some very personal, juicy, like juicy, 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 juicy questions. I love the name GC. Yeah, and I'm actually quite proud of you all because um, in the past where I've done these, literally I get questions that are, are the opposite of GC and along the lines of what is your favourite colour? So you actually delivered for me all. I got so many questions, a lot of the same questions, and I'm just going to try and answer. I have 22 questions here for you. I picked the best ones because I literally had like, like I must have had about 1,000. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but around like 500 questions. So yeah let's get started okay so the first one is what youtubers do i have beef with um i've never had actual beef with like a proper youtuber does that make sense well i've had two beef experiences one was like the first one was both of these were like quite a long time ago um but the first one was i think that was just a misunderstanding but it was quite beefy but i am friends with the girl still now so that's fine and um, my second beef I'd say was July no that was about July yeah and that was very different from a misunderstanding let's just say but yeah um, I haven't really but they're they are like not like a proper YouTube beef does that make sense does that make sense so I've never had like proper like serious YouTube beef because the first one was like literally like May or before that and the other girl didn't even have YouTube then, I think. But yeah, I've, I've got my robe is falling off, let's put that back on and be cheeky together, let's not. So yeah, luckily, hopefully I won't because I don't like beef at all. I don't, I've, see, I've seen what the person does but I honestly don't. I've, ne I've had one big argument in, my, in like real life in the last five years. Yeah, last five years I've only had one big argument. I used to have tons in primary. I loved a good beef in primary. Oh my god, I literally, I'd start all the arguments, and if I wasn't included in that argument, I would make myself even included, because I loved EastEnders, because I loved EastEnders. Oh my god, I wanted to be on EastEnders when I was younger, so I loved a bit of beef. But then when I went to secondary school, I would just, by year six I was fed up with it. Year four me, I was beef summer summer oh my god stop saying beef oh, here i you drink alcohol when you're with emma <laughs> uh, uh, well, um, what do you, i'm not sure you mean by this question because it's not like every time i see emma i'm like, like come on then let's get a bottle out <laughs> does that make sense no I, I i okay i don't i literally have never actually properly drank alcohol i know literally but the thing is, most kid girls, my girl, not just girls, most like anyone my age, literally is going out getting smashed every weekend. So I am pretty good. I okay, I'm gonna tell you my little scandal I had. So um, I what they mean by this is I went. It was my best friend Emma. Hi, her fifteenth party. Okay, I had three sip. When I say three sips of some Smirnoff ice, ice which may I say has 5% alcohol in and if you drank the whole bottle you would not even have a reaction at all, at all and um, my mum like knew, my mum trusts me and there was like this whole scandal on my Instagram because I posted a picture of my two best friends and the bottle is in the background yeah 
and then everyone's like oh my god like getting so triggered like oh my god oh my god and then um, this person i'm not going to say who but i do know who screenshotted it and sent it to my mum and circled it and my mum was like yeah i know yeah at least she's not going out having babies Honestly, it was trying to be turned into a scandal, but it did not work. No, I literally, that was the first time. I had a glass of wine on New Year's, and it was like that much wine and that much lemonade. You're bitchy at school. Um, no, not at all. I literally, I keep myself to myself at school. Um, I am very, on YouTube, I'm very like loud. And, like, I, I seem very full of myself. That's just because I am very, I am a confident person, and I am... In real life, but I am much more confident online than I am not. But um, no, I'm not. Well, I don't think I am. <laughs> I don't even have like that that many friends. I don't really speak to that many people. I have a group of three of us, me, Emma, and Mia. And then I have like I don't really have many classes with them, so I have like other like good friends in my classes. But I only really stick. I I keep myself to myself really. I don't cause problems. I don't. Like, I've never had his attention. I'm not like one of them, like, look at me, look at me, laugh at me, I'm really funny. I'm not one of them people. I keep myself to myself and I'm, I'm not bitchy. I, I, I don't know, it comes across that way to some people that don't know me because, like, um, I seem very full of myself on here, but I actually am, like, not as much in real life. Does that make sense? Well, name one thing you hate about YouTube. Okay, so, name one thing I hate about YouTube. Um, I don't think I hate anything I actually, like, hate. I dislike a few things. Um, I dislike how people judge you, um, how people don't know your, yourself, like your actual real personality, just because they see you online and they think you, they know you completely, which is so not true because people have put things of me, like my personality on here, that I show to my mum and my mum like, is like, what the hell, that is like complete opposite to you. Like, for example, I've had like selfish and my mum knows I'm not selfish one bit, like literally, like I'm not, and I, it really frustrates me how people think that you're that thing, just because they see um, 10 minutes of you, like two times a week, and that's not true, so many people you watch online probably aren't what you think they are, I know that sounds really deep, but I am the same as I am in real life, but um, it's just people see me in a different way and it's so annoying, that's the only annoying thing. I don't hate YouTube because of it, but I just dislike that aspect of it. Do you think social media has had like a negative impact on our mental health and generation? Um, yeah, definitely. hundred, I, I honestly think this, I think the world would be so much better, better without phones. And, and I'm saying that and I'm doing this right now, but obviously that obviously if we didn't have phones I wouldn't ever have known to do this so I wouldn't like I can't really imagine not doing it but I wouldn't obviously if I'd been brought up without a phone that I wouldn't miss doing it because I wouldn't know what it's like does that make sense it doesn't but you know what I mean yes definitely um that is definitely the reason why anxiety and depression rates are rising by like 70 percent or something like that so people were so much happier in the olden days, like ages ago, because there wasn't everything on social media, there wasn't a specific body image you have to look up to, um, you weren't getting judged all the time. If you were being bullied at school, you'd be bullied at school, but and then you'd go home and you could escape. Now you don't have anywhere to escape. People, if you get bullied at school, you'll be bullied at home too because of online and because of them things. Blocking might work, lots of people making an accounts and stuff. So yeah, I think, like literally a thousand percent, I think social media is actually extremely dangerous in a way, but also really good because for me, sometimes I go on there and I it makes me sad, but sometimes I go on there, it makes me happy. So literally, it can be, social media can be taken in different ways from different people. How did your first kiss go? Um, <laughs> horrific. No, um, it was like, it was, I was in year seven basically, and I know a lot of people would think like, that's so young, but it was like, not even just like a peck on the cheek. I, I, I had my first like little kiss when I was eight, but it was like literally like, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, so I was 11, I know so I was really young, but I feel like when everyone hits into year seven, they think they're so grown up. Like I thought I was, so I thought, oh, okay, come on then. So um, yeah, it didn't go well. Um, let's just say I w it was very humiliating. I got peer pressured into it. Um, 
and then apparently I did it wrong so everyone was getting up videos on how to kiss properly and that was probably the most humiliating period of day period of day? that's probably the most humiliating thing I've had in my life okay when do you think you would lose your virginity? Um, I, I honestly I don't know I'm not going to be like putting it on my calendar like 2019 2019 June 3rd at 4pm I'm not going to be like that I'm just going to be like whenever I want to like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna plan things like that. I, but I just, I, whenever I want to like feel ready because I don't want to like just do it because everyone else is like. Does money make you happy? Well, it don't make me sad. <laughs> no, I. This question is a little bit weird. Um, this is a little bit weird. This question because I don't think money makes anyone sad. Really, obviously I know rich people get sad, but I'm saying no one gives you a hundred pound and you think, oh my god. I'm so sad. Like you're gonna be like, oh my god, thank you. Like obviously money makes everyone happy. Like don't don't even sit there thinking, I oh, I hate money. Money makes me sad. Cause you don't. Everyone likes a bit of extra coin. But I don't class that as my top love and priority. I if I had to be homeless for the rest of my life to say to still see my mum, I would do that. I would easily do that. If I had a million pound, I'd give away a million pound just so I could see my dog. I'm not like I'm not like one of them people that are just like money's all that makes me happy. Next one is like turn on to the boys. I don't I'm not thinking they're hard basically and like walking around like you know what I mean? That like, not thinking they're better than everyone. If they are really really cocky, that is a, on, honestly like no, they've just not got to be cocky. If they're cocky, I'm like no, don't like you're not a road man. Stop walking around like you're one. You're not. Um and yeah, so. I think maybe if they're funny, yeah, really funny, because I want some really funny. Right, I think we get it some. I want some really funny. So yeah, yeah, hit me up if you're funny. Uh, do you wear thongs or pants? I wear this is right really to my base to GC. I wear thongs because I find them comfier. Um are you jealous of bigger YouTubers? Uh right? No, not at all. I I actually am the most least jealous person ever. But I honestly I I it's alright being envious. Envious and jealous. Envious is when you admire to have something and you admire that person. You think, oh, I love their hair. Like, I wish I had that hair. Jealousy is not a nice thing. People get people when they go, oh, I'm so jealous of you. You're not. You're just envious because jealous is not a nice thing to be. Um, jealous is when you like want that person, but jealousy is a very not nice trait. Envious is basically like jealous. Jealous. But envy, jealous is when you hate someone for having that and you don't. What is the mental illness you have that you never speak about? Um, okay, so I I obviously we all know that I have like anxiety disorder, like panic disorder, stuff like that, and I have like some physical ones. Please don't ask because I've mentioned it quite a lot. If you go on my Instagram, I'm always like raising it away to them things. And the other day I posted something, um, from like my old blog and I had to scribble out something because um, the thing is I'm not I don't I don't want to share everything about myself online and I have shared 99.9% of myself online so I want to keep some of myself private still and if I was ready to talk about it I'm I, I'm not I don't think I will ever be has Eva ditched you again um no we just we don't we don't talk anymore we don't talk good stop um, yeah, we just don't talk anymore. Some people just drift apart, and that's how friendships go in life. People drift apart due to enough one re due to a reason or no reason. There is there could be a reason, could be not a reason to why friendships drift apart. Sometimes people just aren't like meant to be friends. Does that make sense? But yeah, have you ever fancied your best one of your best friends' boyfriends? Is that what the question says? I haven't wrote down over there, but yeah. Um, yes, I have, but it was like year eight. Has your anxiety ever led you to feeling suicidal? Yes, not recently, not in the past year-ish. But, um, yeah, very much so when I was younger. I'd say, um, oh, what ages? I'd say around when I was eight to 11, I was really, I really did not, like, I had no hope. I literally just didn't. It's re I don't really want to go into fully like what happened in that, but I was very, um, but I was very sad and I was in such a bad place. 
but yeah ever since like i haven't even felt close to that in about a year so yeah youtube makes me happy basically hey this one's about surgery i can't remember what it exactly says but yeah okay if i had any surgery um i don't think i would i don't think i'd have a boob job um because when I'm petrified in case something wrong happens but also because if I had bigger boobs my, it would look really disproportionate to my body so I don't think I would lip fillers, okay so I I like my lips however they look thinner now because I have braces on and it like when I talk they disappear but like that's my natural lips so I don't really mind them however um, I <sighs> I actually quite like the look of lip fillers. I don't like the lip fillers that make your lips look like dark lips, like that. I'm not there for that. I like natural lip fillers. I really like natural lip fillers. I don't know if I'd get them because knowing me, I'd get them and be like, what the hell are they on my face? Get them out of my mouth and then it would be like bruised and I would just wouldn't. But I don't know, I'd, I'd like, I don't know, I might, but I don't think I would, no. Shins. How much would you be paid to wear makeup again? Would you do makeup again for 2000? I honestly, I'm so fed up of it. If you want to know why I don't wear makeup anymore, please type up somewhere so why I don't wear makeup anymore. There's two videos, please watch the one with the least amount of views because the one with the most amount of views, I don't explain it properly in that. So yeah, um, I would not do makeup again if someone, well I'd do it like, I would not get back into makeup for any money. I. If I enjoyed makeup, I'd do it for no money. I, don't, I honestly, this question really baffles me. Like, it's baffling me now. Because I, I stopped doing makeup for a reason. I would not start makeup again. Some be like, oh, here's two grand. Do you want to give me a night tutorial one? No, I wouldn't. I mean, no, I wouldn't. I mean, I have no makeup anymore anyway. I literally, I sold most of the things and the things that were like too unhygienic to sell. I just chucked in the bin. I don't have one bit of makeup in my house. My mum has like a foundation and that, but... I don't care for makeup. If I wanted to do it again, I would don't go and do it again, but I really don't see myself doing it. And no, I would not be paid anything to do makeup. I mean, obviously, if someone was like, I'll pay you a million if you do my makeup once, and I'll be like, okay, but I'm not going to get back into makeup. So someone pays me. I literally get email, an email from this girl who's like, please do one last eye tutorial for me. Why would I? I quit makeup for a reason. Uh, and I didn't even do that many makeup tutorials when I was wearing makeup anyway. I thought it, it, it baffles me. Furthest you would go with a boy at this age? Um, I, well, I wouldn't, I can't really say that because I don't know. It depends, like, how comfortable I feel with them. Just going to say that because I don't really know. Like, I'm not going to be, like, holding hands. I, I don't think I can say that because... Really, this it depends how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling a little bit, you know, this is going really weird. Well. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want a part two, tell me down below. And yeah, I just thought this video would be quite fun to do, so you could get to know some juicy art things about me and my life. And yeah, I love it all so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give it a big, big thumbs up. And yeah, I love it all. Bye.